Okay, in one of my previous videos, I had discussed challenges of home ownership. But why would you want to become a homeowner if there are no advantages to it, right? So the point is that the advantages of owning a home and living in a home should exceed the advantages of renting. Only then should you buy a home. Now, in this video, I will discuss 11 awesome benefits of home ownership. So let's get started. First advantage of a home ownership is you have a lot of storage space because of which you can really well organize your home because you don't have to keep all the things at the same place. When you have so many closets, you can actually nicely put things where they should belong. Let me just show you with some examples. Take a look at this kitchen for example. There is so much space and there are so many closets that I don't have to keep everything on the countertops. I have everything hidden inside so that the kitchen can look neat and clean at all times. Only and only those things that I use almost on a daily basis do I keep on the countertop. Everything else is hidden from the view, right? For example, I have a coffee machine there and then I have a toaster there and a grilling machine there that I use almost on a daily basis. Only for that reason I have these things on the countertop. Everything else such as cookers and all other utensils are nicely hidden. These spoons, for example, all this cutlery is nicely hidden here. Then I have some other utensils nicely hidden there. And if, for example, the mixer grinder, all those things are hidden here. And then I have an air fryer that I occasionally use. This air fryer is also nicely hidden. If I did not have this much closet space, everything would be on the countertop somewhere. And then I have tried to organize this whole pantry to the best I could. So now the brown rice cooker or the oatmeal cooker that I use for slow cooking is also hidden. The rice cooker is there. Everything is hidden from the plain view. And not just that, you can have uh, all these sparkling water cans and these pour drinks are also nicely hidden in closets. So as in when I need them, I put them all in my refrigerator nicely here, right? And then you have, and then I also have this separate uh, closet for all the jackets and the, all the beddings and such. And then we got more and more extra storage. For example, if you look here, uh, all my sports stuff, for example, my bike helmet, my bike gloves and all such things are all here. And then I also have a closed closet for shoes and slippers, which is nicely hidden all over this place here. So I just showed a few examples, but the point is that when you have a large home, you have so much space in every room, in every portion of your home, where you can easily organize your home very nicely. And in an apartment complex, you do not have all that much space. So you have to be very careful with your space. And what happens in a, as a result is that a lot of things are lying in public view. And that sometimes does not make it look very nice. So this is one of the great advantages of home ownership. The next advantage of home ownership is quite well known is that you get to build equity in your own home. Okay. What happens in apartment complexes is that you have to keep paying your rent and the rent can keep increasing. Usually it increases almost by 10%, sometimes even 20% every year. Whereas if you own your home and then even if you are taking a loan, that payment, that monthly payment that you have to make remains constant. The property tax may increase, but it is in much smaller proportion as compared to your monthly payments. Whereas if you live in an apartment, you keep on paying rent forever, how much ever long you live there and you own zero equity in that apartment. And even if real estate prices go up, the apartment does not give you any benefit. Whereas if you buy a home in a good area, the price is most likely to appreciate over time. And then once you no longer need such a large home, let's say you have family, you have kids who go to school close by, you're in a great school district. Now, once your children graduate and go to college and they are done with that school, you can actually sell your home at a much higher price and move to a smaller home in another area or in the same area. Another great advantage of home ownership is that when you have children, there is plenty of space for them to run around and play around. And not just that, when it comes to having pets, apartments tend to be restrictive of certain breeds. For example, Rottweilers or pit bulls or German shepherds are uh, sometimes not allowed in apartment complexes. However, if you own your own home, you can get any dog of any size that you want. For example, I like German shepherds. So if I decide to get a German shepherd dog, 
I can easily uh, get that dog without any hassles or without any issues with any management. Now, another important thing is that the dog park is very close to my home, just about a mile away. And many of these homeowners nearby, many of my neighbors are dog owners as well. So you get to meet them and your dogs get to play with each other and so on. So if you are a pet person, you can have even multiple dogs when you have a large home. Now let us look at a huge, huge advantage which I think a home provides. A large home such as this will have a separate office room. What happens sometimes is that say when my family members or somebody else comes to visit me, they tend to watch TV, right? Now the TV makes noise. There is no space for me to go hide and have a quiet environment if I have to focus on my work. If you have your own office, that is my office over there by the way, that is my office room. What happens there is that uh, I can actually close the doors and focus on my own work. Let me give you a sneak peek of my office room. Come here. So this is my office room. I have a whiteboard so that I can make notes on what all I plan to do. Uh, I erased it and then uh, there is plenty of space and there is a nice office desk uh, and you have so much space and not just that uh, you can easily close these doors and have a private time when you are trying to focus on your work and this is actually uh, pretty well soundproof so that the now noise outside does not get to you that easily and this way you can actually focus on your work but there is a small disadvantage to this that i am going to fix today see what is happening is that i have this wooden desk which is uh, for my height is quite short so i am forced to use these pads and not just that and not just that what i used to do in my apartment complex is that i used to keep this desk by the wall so it would not slide away or anything but here because i have kept the desk like this it slides away and not just that because i'm forced to use these pads the desk keeps shaking it is very easy for the desk to slip by like this you see that so to address this issue I was watching my friend Harnoor Singh's video where he was using this flexi spot desk, standing electric desk. So. And I got inspired by it and I got one of those discs myself. And today I'm going to unbox this desk and assemble it and let's see how it goes. This was unbelievably easy to assemble this desk. That's amazing. And just see how simple and beautiful it is. Wow, that's so cool. Oh. See, one cool feature that I really like in this desk is that it has two USB ports and one other port, I forget what it is called. And this can actually really help you when you want to charge things. Because what happens sometimes is that I have this extension cord and here I have all my chargers. Take a look at this iPhone charger cable. What happened, how badly this got damaged. Let me see if you can actually see that on screen. Okay, so this is how badly it got damaged because inadvertently I hit this these wheels of the chair keep going over those cables and now because i have this usb port also on the side it will actually really help to charge phones without damaging those charger cables So 
now I have set up my new desk and I think it looks amazing. So this is at the lowest possible height, which is a bit lower for my comfort. But let's see how high it can go and if it has any issues going up with all those cables over there. Oh my goodness, for my height at 6'1", this is actually absolutely perfect. As you can see, I have taken my cables down there and I have put my iPhone charger and iWatch charger right here using these USB cables. And at its maximum height, this looks indeed very nice. See, ergonomics is really important. If you keep sitting all day, you will have a lot of health issues eventually. It is important to also stand for a while. Now with this desk, I can actually stand and work. Now, I attend a lot of conference calls with my co-researchers and conference calls in the office in my department. And let us see how that would work if one has to stand and attend those same conference calls. Okay, so let us see if this works well. Opening my webcam. And actually, I can see myself very clearly. Perfect. You can always attend all your conference calls while standing on this desk. And on this white desk, as you can notice, it has long base, long legs. So this desk will not actually shake or will not move easily. I've given the link for this desk in my description. Now to see the next awesome benefit of home ownership, let us go outside. Now the next awesome benefit of home ownership is that you have your own parking garage and you don't have to fight for parking space what happens many times in apartment complexes is that there are so many apartments and there is limited parking space very close to those apartments right so if you are not lucky to find a parking spot right next to your home you have to park quite a bit away and then especially in when it is very hot and when you are buying some groceries and you are carrying a lot of heavy bags it becomes a daunting task now when you have your own home there is absolutely no hassle of finding a parking spot let's take a look and the garage door opens and then you can also use those garage door buttons uh, or the keys that you might have in your car and the garage door opens just for you and then as you can see i have my car parked here and then there is a lot of storage space even in my parking garage as well okay so you can always organize i have a toolbox and uh, my own lawnmower and all such things and i can happily park my bike inside my own garage so what used to happen is that if you are in an apartment complex it is quite challenging to find a place to put your bike at so i used to put my bike in my balcony but then the apartment complex management had issues with it because it was in public view of everybody else and they did not allow me to keep my bicycle in my balcony so i was forced to keep my bicycle inside my home so it is quite awkward when you have a small apartment and you have to keep such a big bicycle inside your home now it is in my car garage and it does not look out of space at all but one important point before I forget is that when you park your car in an apartment complex, usually it is out and open, right? And what happens sometimes is that there are a lot of birds who love to decorate cars with their magic. Okay. And I do not appreciate that. And your car is also parked in open where it can catch a lot of dust. When it snows, your car is covered by ice. So all such issues are no longer there when you have your own garage inside your own home. And the next advantage of owning your own home is that it is very easy to pick your mail. What happens in apartment complex is that there is a whole mailbox area and then you have to wait before you can collect your mail, especially when the mailman or the mail person is putting all the mail. Okay. And you have to walk quite a bit of distance if you are living in an apartment complex, depending on where your apartment is within that area. Okay. When you have your own home, Picking your mail is not a hassle at all. Your mail gets delivered right outside. Let me just show you that. So you see that thing over there? That is where you go to collect your mail. The next advantage is inside your home and hidden from public view, but it is still an open space. I'm talking about the backyard. So now 
when you have a backyard as nice and as big as this you can actually use this space for something eco-friendly all i'm talking about is you can actually dry your clothes privately without having to use your dryer now what happens with dryer is that it consumes a lot of electricity and if you can dry your own clothes in your own backyard it is a very eco-friendly it not only just saves money but it also saves energy and it is good for the environment right so now what i have done is that i have this rack over here okay and a lot of times i have put a rope around this place so it gives you more space to hang your clothes like this and in texas heat you don't even need to use your dryer i have a dryer at home still but i only use it or i plan to only use it when it is not possible to dry your clothes when it is raining or when it is too cold here in winter time then perhaps it makes more sense to dry clothes inside the home but otherwise you can always dry your clothes in your own backyard because what happens in apartment complexes at least in the western countries and in the us in particular is that you are not allowed to dry your clothes in your balconies okay because it doesn't look good and the likelihood of them finding new tenants is low because they want to attract more new tenants in their apartment complexes most apartment complexes if not all prohibit you from drying your clothes in your balconies and you are required to use a dryer and in some apartment complexes there is no washer dryer connection either so you have to take your entire laundry go to a particular spot in those apartment complexes or outside somewhere else to dry your clothes and even to wash your clothes this in my view is a huge advantage of living in your own home especially if you have covered fence okay if your fence is not covered in my case this fence is quite big and there is complete privacy so they built all these homes such that no home can actually invade another home's privacy. Everything is protected right here. Another fantastic and great advantage or benefit of living in your own home is my own backyard where I have enough open space to build my own gym. Why should I go to a regular gym and spend so much money when I can buy all that equipment for one-time purchase and use my own backyard to do all my workouts? So take a look. your backyard okay i have such a nice backyard here and i can actually plant my own trees fruits vegetables whatever i want to plant right now previous owners loved flowers but in my view i am not a big fan of flowers especially in my backyard where i'm the only person who gets to see them i would rather use it for something more productive i would rather grow my own chilies tomatoes cucumber or vegetables like that in fact if you can see there is a huge pear tree and it grows amazingly sweet and beautiful pears let's take a close look so you see all these pears growing here okay and they are very fine and very sweet pears okay and there are a lot of pears all over the place and some of these pears get eaten up by birds but there are enough pears that grow on this tree so that you can use those pears for yourself so i just plucked three pears and all my friends who have tried these pears have told me that these were the sweetest pears that they have ever tasted and i plan to plant more trees over here and there is plenty of space to plant your own uh, fruits or whatever vegetables you want to plant and the space goes all over this space here this entire space is unutilized right now okay so i can use this entire space to grow my own fruits and vegetables now one great advantage of living in a home like this is that you have a lot of quietude when I used to live in an apartment complex, I used to hear a lot of traffic noise all the time, okay? Sometimes those ambulance noises and uh, police sirens would wake me up at nights. And not just that, the constant traffic that I used to hear is not present here at all. It is always 
almost always very quiet and calm. In fact, in my old apartment, a lot of my neighbors used to play movies and play loud music. And that used to bother me sometimes. But here, even if somebody is playing loud music inside their home, there is enough space between two homes such that their noise does not even reach me. The way these homes are constructed, the way these are new homes are constructed, they are very good at insulating your air and your noise as well. Now coming back to another advantage of having a kitchen here is that a lot of apartment complexes do not use gas stoves because of those uh, safety issues. The apartment complexes can easily get burned. So more and more apartment complexes, at least in the United States, prefer to use coil or induction stoves. But inside your own home, you have a choice of what kind of stuff you want. All these years I have been using coil stuffs, which I did not really like all that much. But in my own home, I have a nice gas stove and where I can easily make bengan ka bharta and roast corn. The gas is at high. Okay. Put this grill here and start roasting your corn. <laughs> So I really enjoyed making this video. So these were all the points that I wanted to show are huge advantages of buying a home and being a homeowner. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind and may God bless the United States of America.